minerals and materials in your pellets turn into glass, creating hard deposits called clinkers, which form at the bottom of the fire pot. The type and consistency of your ash and clinkers will vary with the type of fuel. We recommend that you clean your fire pot daily. If the fuel has a high mineral and ash content or you are burning shelled field corn, clean the fire pot more than once a day. To clean the fire pot, wait for the appliance to completely cool. Pull the fire pot clean out rod and then slide it back to the closed position. Be certain the fire pot floor plate is fully closed when finished. If the floor plate appears to be stuck closed, scrape the floor plate while moving the cleaning rod out and in a few times. Never pull the rod when the appliance is operating and always make sure it's fully closed before operating the appliance. About once a week or as needed depending on fuel quality, stubborn clinker buildup must be firmly scraped and chipped out of the fire pot with a putty knife. At this point you should empty the ash pan. To remove the ash pan, open the front door and slide the ash pan straight out. Empty it into a non-combustible container and reinstall the ash pan. Always assume that ashes are hot and dispose of them properly in a sealed metal container. Place the container in a safe area on a non-combustible surface. The amount of ash buildup in the fire pot will be a good guide to determine how often you should clean the heat exchangers. Typically, you should clean the heat exchangers at least once a week. This will keep your appliance burning at peak efficiency. Allow the appliance to cool completely and there must be no hot ashes in the fire pot prior to cleaning. There are two heat exchange chambers. Each chamber is equipped with its own cleaning rod. To access the cleaning rods, open the front cast door. Both of the pull rods are located close to the face of the insert to the left and right side. To clean, pull the rods straight out approximately 10 inches. Move each rod in and out a couple of times to remove ash buildup on the outside of the exchanger tubes. It's recommended you clean the firebox once a month or after burning a ton of fuel. Allow the appliance to cool completely. There must be no hot ashes in the firebox prior to cleaning. To remove the baffle, open the front cast and glass doors. Slide the baffle to the left. Lift the baffle up and towards you. Remove the right cast fire brick and use a small vacuum hose attachment to clean the area, including the impellers of the exhaust blower. When you finish, reinstall the fire brick and baffle. Reinstall the top baffle, making sure it is seated all the way to the right side of the firebox. To the left and right of the fire pot are two cleaning slides. Pull both slides out, one at a time, and use a small brush to sweep ash into the two open holes. Now, sweep the remaining ash from the firebox. Be sure the appliance is cold before cleaning the glass. To clean the glass, use a damp paper towel or any non-abrasive cleaner. Then use a dry towel to wipe off any streaks that may remain. Never use any type of abrasive cleaner on the plated surfaces. This is a good time to inspect the door latch and window seals. Ensure they're in good condition and seal tightly. A tight seal is important for the appliance to burn properly. Check the position of the thermocouple. Make sure it protrudes one inch into the fire pot and that the tip of the thermocouple is in contact with the end of the thermocouple cover. The exhaust system will need to be cleaned at least once each year or more often depending upon the ash content of your fuel. It should be inspected during the annual cleaning of the exhaust and venting system. To remove the sides of the Castile insert, loosen the screw on the top right corner directly under the cast top, but do not remove it. Press upward on the frame with your thumb to relieve pressure on the side. Then slide the side downwards. To clean the rest of the venting system, reach in and unlatch the trap door that is connected to the rear of the exhaust blower. Use a small vacuum hose attachment to clean the area. Close the trap door and relatch it. The convection blower is located at the rear of the insert. To clean it, remove the insert's left and right sides. 
This blower has two impellers, one on each side of the motor. They should be cleaned at least once each year. It requires no lubrication. For a more thorough cleaning, call a qualified dealer for an annual service call.